Hey guys, it's Daniel. Welcome back. The following is from Jim Morrison, Life Death Legend by Stephen Davis. I have a lot of doors and specifically Jim Morrison videos on my channel. If you want to help me make more videos, the best way to do so is to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Quote, August 1969, Jim Morrison was moving around Los Angeles, sleeping in motels or sometimes at Pamela's house. He kept a room at the Chateau Marmont. He wasn't washing much and sometimes smelled bad. He attended two screenings of Agnes Varda's new film, Lion's Love, in which he had appeared as an extra in late 68. Varda, an intense, persuasive woman, insisted that Jim come to France and observe the French style of making quality films on the run. Jim was writing the next Doors album and trying to avoid promoting the new one, The Lesson Magic, The Soft Parade. Other than the title track and the great singles Touch Me and Wild Child, the album was widely regarded as a letdown. Even the Dark Blues album jacket was boring, unthinkable for a Doors record. The Rocks critic dumped on the album with unprecedented contempt. The Doors, they wrote, had let everyone down. The whole thing was a bummer. Jim spent time driving around Los Angeles and into the high Mojave Desert with his friends. He would disappear for days into his secret lives. On August 9th, the hippie Svengali Charles Manson, frustrated by music industry rejection of his songs and other showbiz snubs, dispatched his witchy young legion into the town, where they butchered movie star Sharon Tate in her Beverly Hills home, which belonged to the record producer Terry Melcher, along with Jim Morrison's former hairstylist Jay Sebring, and four other house guests. The next day, they murdered a middle-aged couple named La Bianca, chosen at random a few miles away. The arrests of Manson and his girlfriends would occur only later in the year, so Hollywood was locked down in a state of shock and panic. Steve Stills and David Crosby armed themselves. They're killing anyone with property, Crosby shouted over the phone to a reporter. Heavy-duty paranoia descended upon the land. About a month later, for reasons that remain unclear, Jim Morrison was questioned by police detectives investigating the Tate LaBianca murders. There was a rumor going around town that Jim had talked about the murders before they happened. Jim may have also been tied to the case through Sibring, or through connections in Topanga, where the Manson family had lived, or through acquaintances with one or more of Charlie's girls. Over the years, several of these still-imprisoned women have claimed that they knew Jim Morrison, but similar claims about other contemporary celebrities are considered highly suspect and remain unproven. 